Many owners claim that their dogs understand them. But have dogs now evolved to the point where they can interpret human emotion? Dr. Jennifer Mayer from Roehampton University has been taking a closer look at the science of empathy. She's testing different breeds to see how they respond to a stranger in distress. None of the dogs have met her prior to the experiment, but their response is instant. Next in line is the most popular breed in London and the eighth most popular in the UK, a Staffordshire Bull Terrier called Dottie. It'd be interesting to see yeah. whether she cares about you or not. <laughs> well, that, yeah, that's an interesting... The interesting question is whether or not they'll respond to it in anyone at all. Many people are wary of these dogs. <laughs> but as Dottie is proving, you should never judge a book or a breed by its cover. <laughs> it's hard not to smile at Dottie's reaction, but there is some interesting science behind her behaviour. Tracy, that was amazing. Well done, Dottie. Can you explain a little bit about this experiment that you're doing today? Yes, what we're doing here is trying to show whether or not dogs have a capacity for empathy. And presumably it's important that it's you somebody that the dog doesn't know, yes. doesn't recognise. And in this situation, you'd expect them to go over to Tracy because Dottie would recognise Tracy as a source of comfort. Yeah. So the fact that Dottie comes over to me and not to Tracy suggests that she's responding to what's going on with me and that she's actually um, what we would consider to be consistent with a comfort offering behaviour. Is there a danger though, because you know we have the relationship with dogs that we do, that we're anthropomorphizing, that we're, that we're imagining that a dog is empathetic and actually it is just curious because you're doing something weird? Now that, that is something that people often ask about. And so what we also look at is the tone in which the dog's responding. Either we saw them laying their head in my lap or licking my face. Again, a different type of behavior than what we would expect from curiosity. I've seen quite a bit of research come out more recently about how dogs can be used in terms of a therapy um, for individuals who might have depression. And so showing that dogs will respond to our emotions and can respond in quite a consistent manner kind of helps move along that research. Well, it was fascinating. Thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, Tracy, if I ever feel upset, can I borrow Dottie you for an hour? You can. <laughs> Thank you. It's that capacity to share common emotions that is perhaps the reason why dogs are such loyal human companions. But if they can feel empathy, could they feel other things like sadness, for example? Well, Ruth went on the trail of a legendary dog whose loyalty and maybe even grief. How an owner's personality could well affect their choice of dog. But what about the dog's temperament? Does each breed have a distinct personality type? Veterinarian Bruce Fogel argues we need to be careful to avoid false stereotypes. Most people's perception is that a Staffordshire Bull Terrier is quite an aggressive dog, that a Golden Retriever is a big soppy friend. And the perception is wrong. Right. There's probably no better house dog, family dog, than a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. They love their people. Some Staffordshire Bull Terriers end up with bad people and they turn into bad dogs. So that would be, in that case, that would be nurture, sort of dictating how that dog behaves. Exactly. But there is a difference in the underlying temperament in the breed. If you're bitten by a Labrador, it bites and releases. Right. And statistically, they bite your arms or your legs. If you're bitten by a Staffordshire Bull Terrier or any Bull Terrier, they bite and they hold on. That part is instinct, and they're more likely to bite around the face and the neck. So right. the reputation is because when they do bite, the damage is worse. But I think the statistics in Britain are that more people get hospital treatment for Labrador bites than they do for Staffordshire Bull Terrier bites. Many experts believe a dog's personality is more likely to be shaped by its owner than its breed.
so far we've been looking at differences between